Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in for a second today and talk about something that is really near and dear to my heart right now. And that is this combination of different ideas. I'm thinking about creativity, overcommitment, and the way we tie ourselves into knots. I didn't necessarily find my theme of the year right at the beginning. Um, instead, it's kind of crept on over me throughout this month of January. And I knew this year was about rebirthing, but I don't think we ever know what, what we're in for when we're about to give birth to a human or to an idea or to some great change and transformation. But the other thing I knew was that I had to change my relationship to overcommitment because I realized this today. I have spent a good three decades overcommitted. I turned 40 this year. And um, that's exciting in and of itself. It's not scary, right? Um, I find it scarier when my friends from high school are turning 40, honestly. That, that makes me, blows my mind. <laughs> but anyway, I realized, I was thinking back today, I was like in the eighth grade when I remember being so chronically overcommitted, I was crying myself to sleep at night. And I don't think I've ever really stopped feeling that way in the last three decades. I'm shifting that now. It's time to make that change. And so that's gonna be coming up for me in terms of how I treat my family, how I treat my friends, how I hold my business, how I hold my creative projects. Because I have just decided that my book, which I was all set to get released in October of this year, 2019, that could wait till February of 2020. And you know what? I get to make that call. I've set things up so that I can make that call because I don't have to tie myself up in knots releasing a book called The Sovereignty Knot in a time that doesn't work for me, in a time that makes me feel chronically overcommitted and as if my creativity is somehow being held hostage to, I gotta get this done, I will never have enough time, it's not gonna be good enough, da 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 all that urgency, right? So that's what's changing for me this year. This relationship with commitment, this relationship with my creativity that I know is gonna change because I refuse to tie myself up in the same old familiar knots. And one of the things that I am so grateful to have in my life, that I am so grateful to have created for others, but which also holds me, is the Sovereignty Circle. And that is a place where we unknot ourselves, we untangle the stories and the ways that we think things should be and the way things we the way we things we've done the way we've done things in order to please others or because we feel like our creativity and our voice needs to come last. You know, in the sovereignty circle it's about making the time and space and giving yourself permission to sit in community with your ideas and with your creativity and to make commitment that works for you. We sit and we write together every Wednesday at noon Eastern. And then we meet a couple other times a month, once for like a writing, coaching, and story healing call um, in which we really dive into the resistance and what's working and what's not working and how we can ask for support from me, your, the writing coach and the story healer who holds the space, but also from the amazingly brilliant healers who are in this group, the thinkers and the writers and the beings who are on some kind of mission to make this world more beautiful and bearable and bold to make this world more like the world we need it to be. The one that is inclusive and loving and just and brave and willing to challenge the way things have been because they haven't been fair enough and they haven't been safe enough and they haven't been as beautiful as I think this earth shows us things are supposed to be. We live in a dramatically gorgeous place, right? I gotta show you what's going on outside my window right now. Oh, not that way. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I've been, haven't actually ever done Instagram Live before. That's what's happening outside my door. That's what's happening on my front porch and in my front yard. This is so bloody 
gorgeous. What could we do as humans to be a little more worthy of this beautiful world that needs us to show up and be the right kind of stewards and to care for her and to care for each other? Is some of the stuff that we think about in Sovereignty Circle. And it's a place where we stop tying ourselves in knots because we make a conscious commitment to write together and to be together and to learn together and to unlearn certain things, unlearn overcommitment and that chronic state of not enough and not me and I couldn't possibly and I wish I were like that particular lucky, blessed, super brave woman who does X, Y, and Z. No, it's not just about them. Not about the lucky ones, the people we wish we could be. It's about being who we are. It's about stepping into our sovereignty and claiming the bit of ground beneath our feet, rooting into this earth and rooting into our sense of, I belong here. I belong to myself. I have a sense of agency. I am so strong within this container. I've got the arms that can reach out and hold those who need it, to heal those who need it. I am so strong and sovereign within myself. I can create the shifts and changes that need to happen in this world. Creativity without chronic overcommitment. Sovereignty, which unites us with the world around us, but doesn't tie us in knots. That's my vision for this year. And yeah, we're a month in. And you know what? This is just on time. And you're just on time too. Because... We are still welcoming new members into the Sovereignty, Cir Sovereignty Circle. February 1st is the perfect time to join us. There's a link in my bio. You can also find all the information you need about it at marisagowdy.com. Shoot me a direct message. Let me know what your questions are. We would love to have you with us. This is the group, the online community, that is for women who desire to live and tell a more powerful story. And we do it through writing and we do it through conversation and we do it through connection because it's possible to rediscover our creativity, break those old cycles of overcommitment and to tie the knots that matter, not the knots that bind us into some difficult place where we can't escape. This is about finding our freedom and finding our voices. I hope you'll think about joining us in the Sovereignty Circle. Like I said, you have till February 1st. Let me know if you're interested. Let me know if you have any questions. And let me know what it's looking like in your corner of the world. Do you have beautiful snow falling? I'm going to go out and play in it. Have an awesome day.